Hello everybody. Uh, I'm Killjoy545. Um, I am going to be doing uh, some videos on uh, No Man's Sky. I tried recording the earlier portion of uh, before where I'm at now and my video recorded decided to say it's recording but not recording. Interesting. So um, where I'm at is not really that far into the game. Uh, the only parts you missed is, of course, the intro and me repairing my ship. After repairing my ship, pretty much time to plot down a base. Well, the planet I started on was a freezing ice cold planet. Um, I don't like that. So I found another planet. This is a boiling planet. Um, I popped some pop two charts and the second one is where I place my base um, for I show it I am going to let you guys know that this is a very rare place to find in the game uh, I don't know if they changed the spawn rate but as far as I know it is still one of the rare places to find um, and I just happened to find one on the second uh, second chart then I popped. With that being said, which is incredible that I found this on the second chart, um, it's really lucky find starting in, out in the game to find one of these in the system. So, so, and here I'm at. I'm at the colossal. Uh, I think it was called the research place. These are very hard to find in the game. And well, as you can see, I was lucky to get one. Um, there's my starter ship. Don't know why a starter ship doesn't like to land up here. So, uh, looks like I gotta recharge my health. Got enough oxygen. Now, let's go ahead and get the this habitation program done. Um, it says it wants me to build a floor. So, we'll make it happy. Poof! A floor. Now it wants me to build three walls. There's one. Two. Three. I'm putting a fourth one, otherwise it wouldn't be a good dobe. Um door frame. Well crap. So left control, we'll delete this. And we'll just build it again. Ha! Huh. I am building a roof. Uh, there we go. So we're going to go in here and we're safe. And that's all they want us to do. There's a storm outside. So. Basically what I'm going to do is for anybody that wants to come here, my base computer is here, I am going to put up refineries for you guys. Uploaded. And yes, I will upload this by the way. So people can find this place because like I said, these are one of the places you want to find. Um, I need carbon or oxygen and see if I can get some something give me some sort of oxygen I don't think so I think it might be something I have to buy we'll get this one with some ferrite dust um 
think I can stick carbon in there. No. Uh, condensed carbon? No. Oxygen's oxygen. Uh, we're just gonna have to buy oxygen. I am going to stick carbon in, get that thing going. Uh, as of right now, we gotta go get oxygen. Get your own chips. And now the nice thing is, if you keep this going, you'll eventually get everything you need for free. So, um, research, magnesium, ferrite, carbon nanotubes. That is not hard to do. Um, uh, now do we actually need this? Um, yes. Escape base archives, plans for new technology. Secretary upgrade to to signal boosters to find a drop pod. We're not gonna do that one. So we are gonna continue doing this. So it's from my command, uh duh. Still foot. Investigate base computer archives. So okay, we do need this. Um, I believe, uh, I don't got much carbon. Yes. Okay. We're just going to need a lot of that. There. Um, that's carbon. That's great. Because this thing is about out of fuel. We need to keep that thing filled. So, this one's about 97. Oh, nope. It is done. Awesome. So we're going to stick this in, we're going to fill this up. Now there is a flaw in the game, if you leave this spawn area with anything in these uh, refineries, you will lose them. Sad truth, but you will lose them. Um, okay, well that's almost done, awesome. that there and we will put that there and I believe we have enough for it requires carbon nanite tubes which takes carbon hmm well let's go see if they have carbon up there when you start now certain key items you do want to get a lot of. Carbon and oxygen is one of them. Um, they got more oxygen. Give me more oxygen. Do they have any carbon? They've got ferrite dust, cobalt, pure ferrite. Oof. Oh. Let's. Fortunately, we're going to have to use some of our oxygen, um, which is fine, but we're going to need some carbon. Um, one of the key things is either keep tons of oxygen or tons of carbon on you, because you will need it. 
Oh, good. All we needed was one. I was going to say, holy crap. A portable. Bam. There we go. Ooh, firestorms. Those are not good. They do randomly spawn on fires. Um, buildable technologies. Teleporters are good. Yeah, let's go ahead with the base teleporter. Um, uh, we... I'm going to make a mad dash for my ship. Good. Um, I am actually going to go up to space station. And I am going to try to get more oxygen. Because, yeah. I need oxygen. Which will then in turn make carbon. Da, da, da. So this point I'll cut it off I won't let you see me run to the station grab the oxygen and come back so All right, well, this is where I got back from the station. As you saw, I left a certain section in on the station due to the fact it was part of the story. So that was left in there. As you can see, I'm back at uh, my home place. The archives that I found that I'm making as the pretty much my base right there that I am going to mark. Um, Trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. If you haven't figured out, this is kind of an overlay because, well, I did a stupid, didn't cut my mic on, so, um, so now I'm just going up there, check and see what's going to be next. It says visit base computer. So, uh, archives terminated. New task. Begin decryption. Basically. This gets you used to go into your base terminal because it slowly starts decrypting other files. As it starts decrypting other files, it starts unlocking blueprints for you. Now it's saying uh, coordinates detected, reach uh, decoded coordinates. Well, that's over there. It's about, about looks of it, about 28 minutes from where I am. If you walk. But that's why you got a ship. So, found the coordinates. I landed. Ended up being a crash freighter. Which is one of the best things you can find. Those, again, are a little bit hit or miss. So, now it's time to do the crash freighter. Talk to the thing like I'm supposed to. Uh, get the hyperdrive. But, as a crash freighter, you want to go through. You want to do all these cargo pods. You want to find all these cargo pods. As you unlock them, though, you've got to run because then it goes radioactive on you. When it goes radioactive, yes, you do start uh, taking damage. So, I'm going through, this is a sped up uh, part of the video that me going through doing all these uh, cargo pods. They're really easy to do. So, great that I ran into them. Um, Crash freighters, you run into them, you better go through and do the cargo pods. If you don't, you are definitely going to be sorry. Um, so now I'm back at the base. Uh, end up landing almost perfectly right on the landing pad. I just don't know why. It just 
it's like the base is there but it's not there so if any of you guys come on and you visit this wherever I'm at um, you always start and you listen so and now uh, I've got that done got the harbor drive built or about to get the harbor drive built and put in so about this time is when the audio kicks on and I realized I had my mic off and turned it back on so enjoy the rest people Alrighty guys, I am back from the copper. Um, as you can see, the planet I went to was a volcanic style planet. Joy. Alright, let's get some chromatic metal going. Quite a bit of copper. We'll just get a bunch of it refined. I mean, we do need quite a bit of it. We need 125. I've got eight. Which, that looks good. I'll keep that. Um, make sure all your things are emptied. And we're just going to get into the ship. We are going to go boom. Boom. We now have a hyperdrive that is completely empty. Um, objective complete. What's it want us to do? Ha! There we go. Diagnostic report. Hyperdrive successfully installed. Empty. Well, I need finances out there amongst the stars, but without warp sales, I ain't going nowhere. Well, I just happen to have antimatter. So, they're basically saying, build the warp cell. Huh. So. Well. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll call it right there on this one. Next mission, we will go ahead and get our antimatter and get our harp drive working. So, until next time, this is Killjoy545, signing off.